right? I know. <laughs> make, make it into a favor, uh -huh. then it's favors they owe you. You'd have to capitalize on it straight away. But here's the other thing. Here's a, here's a challenge I have to you. With every single person in every single account, mm -hmm. have a favor you want from them already in your head. Otherwise. Right? Because you won't yeah. think of it at the time. Yeah. But if you have it in your head, mm -hmm. you'll go, and okay, so what kind of favors? One of the favors you can get is talking to people power. in other parts of the organization, yeah. right? Yeah. Preferably in the power base, mm -hmm. right? But in other parts of the organization, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a favor you can ask. Another favor, like the 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 permission to talk to other people, is a great favor to ask. So always have in the back of your mind a favor you want, and a reason why you want to talk to them. Mm. Okay, mm. and it could be just be look. I just want to understand your business more. I think there's more we can do together, mm. and I just want to talk to more people. I'm, I'm the account manager. I want to understand your business, and I just yeah. want to talk to people that can help me do that. Maybe. Like, and remember, it's a favor. You're yeah. not asking it off the bat. You're asking it from from mm. a favor. So if you have that in the back of your mind, that's one thing to do as favors is get invited to meetings, that internal be, meetings, that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's the that's the that's a great thing. What about internal functions? Like everything, anything internal, yeah, where yeah, you yeah. can do this, finding the power base, cool. talking to people. Cool facts. Cool facts. Cool facts, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you have to balance with what kind of value you get out of this customer. Mm. Is it worth the time investment? But exactly. you know, you're talking about five big accounts with you eighty percent of your business. If you can get invited to like one meeting a week, it's not going to take a great deal of time. Exactly. And you will you will meet a lot of people you would network internally. You'll be mm. so entrenched mm. in that business, it'd be mm. impossible to get rid of you. <laughs> That's what you want. Right? Yeah, you want you want you want you want to actually hear about this person talking to another telemarketing agency. Mm -hmm. You know, before they even started. Before they even started, someone here has heard about someone that's got a problem and that's looking for telemarketing agencies. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And you want to hear that in an internal meeting. That's right. right? Yeah. So that's um, that's another uh, important thing. Internal networking is very important. Um, the other thing about, like we talked about the power base, understanding the sign off and approvals, right? Mm -hmm. What's the process for sign off and approvals? Because you only, you only tend to talk about the same kind of deals, right? But of course, we're all looking at longer contracts. Exactly. Now, longer contracts take exactly. more sign off. Yeah. So the more you understand, I, I challenge you for those five accounts, mm -hmm. start building an old chart. Mm -hmm. Right? A watch chart? An or chart organization chart. Organization chart. Organization yeah. chart. Start building that and start identifying who you suspect is in the power base. It'll take a while. Like, you won't be able to do that till you start internal networking. Yeah. But start building that watch chart. Just everyone you get to. Who do you report to? Who do they report to? Mm -hmm. Oh, who's the head of blah? Who's the head of da da da? And at any one time, you should have an old chart for each of those five accounts. Because that's where you do your planning, your strategizing, mm -hmm. where you start to understand what the sign of process is. Yeah. For this year long contract we're trying to get, like you told me about this year long contract that they're considering, mm -hmm. right? Who's going to sign it off? Who, in US. who are the influencers? Yeah, yeah. Do they even know about you? Have you talked to them? Have you, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you can't expect internal people to push your course. Exactly. They're not going to sell for you inside the organization. Or they might, but they're not salespeople. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do as an effective job. Mm -hmm. So you need to find out who you need to talk to. right? That should be your mission always. Internal mm -hmm. network, finding that approval process. Because yeah. you, you've got to understand, account management, it's again, 80-20, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't go, oh, new business, new business, new business. Yeah, new business, absolutely. You need it to grow. But you, you've got to realize there's so much business coming out of an existing account. You have to start treating it like a sales job because it is a sales job. Exactly. Like, you see what I'm doing here? This is all yeah. sales. Yeah. And this is what you're doing in internal accounts. Mm. Very light editing. And this I've seen a lot of. White editing is like, it's a term, white, white anting, white. right? A white ant, it's like a termite, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it eats the building from inside. And it becomes structurally unsound and collapses. It's a it's basically a term for when people internal to the organization will undermine you. They have some kind of agenda, maybe they have a friend who's got a telemarketing agency and therefore they want to use them. Mm -hmm. So they will internally white ant you. It's a term that's commonly used oh. at <laughs> Mincom anyway, because that's what happened a lot, right? Yeah, because I think this happened with us at IBM John. I'm sure. I'm sure. sure now, how do you prevent white anting? Mm. 
Hmm. Making internal networking, yes. making yes. your like people, you know, allowing people to know who you are and making them understand, look, I'm important to you. Maybe let let me refine that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You find the power base uh -huh. and you become an influencer to oh, someone okay. in the power base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you oh, do not get okay. internally white answered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because what happens is you get white answered from somewhere, yeah. and then it'll hit someone in the power base and it'll stop it. Okay. Yeah. And then we go past that. They'll be like, "No, we don't deal with we don't that." Do that. Right? Yeah. If you don't have these connections, if you don't understand the org chart, you don't understand the power base, you are not connected to the power base. You can get white answered so easily. I guarantee yeah. you, any one of your five accounts, if someone internally decides to start white anting you, yeah. very That's hard to it. stop without those connections. Yeah, yeah, and because yeah. you haven't been thinking this way, I guarantee you, you don't have any, you're not influencers for any of the power base. Because you yeah. probably don't even understand the power base yet in those accounts. So your yeah. challenge is to start, or start getting your chart, start thinking, start finding out who is in the power base, yeah. start yeah. internal networking. Because mm. that's how you prevent this, right? Mm. And, this, and this is easy. This, this happens all the time. Mm. Happens all the time. You got competitors coming in. You just got internal people with own agendas. Maybe someone over here wants to start their own telemarketing group, internal yeah. telemarketing group, right? Yeah. So they will white ant you throughout here. So the only way you can prevent that is this. Plus, this stuff is also fantastic to get a new business. Mm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. This is mining, right? All this stuff, it's mining. That's it for today.